What's going on gamers? Today we're going to be going over how to install the command NPC plugin for your Apex Minecraft server. Before we get into this tutorial, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can stay up to date on every video we upload just like this one. Non-player characters or NPCs are a very useful tool available for your Minecraft server. Creating NPCs makes the server look very well polished and they can be used to perform functions such as teleporting players and opening custom shops. Citizens 2 is the best plugin for making NPCs but adding commands to the NPCs with citizens alone can be a bit daunting. Luckily command NPC makes creating these functions a little bit easier. This plugin is going to help you to make guides fill a village with unique characters, and create shops for your players to use, among many other possibilities. And today we're going to show you not only how to install it, but even how to use it. To start off with, we're going to go ahead and download the Command NPC plugin. You can do this by jumping onto their Spigot page, which of course we're going to link in the description of this video. Once you're on their page, there's going to be a blue download button. Click that when you're ready to download the file. When the file downloads, you can just click and drag it to a folder that you can easily access later on. This can be somewhere like your desktop or somewhere else. And now that you've downloaded this, you know how to download a plugin. So you're going to need to do this for Citizens 2, Vault, and Placeholder API. And then once you're done, you should have a folder with four different plugins. And now you're ready to add the jar files to your Minecraft server. And server installation is also ridiculously easy. Go ahead and hop onto your Apex server panel and then go ahead and stop your server by clicking on stop. Once your server goes from online to offline, then you can make sure that your server version is compatible with the plugin that you downloaded, meaning that your server is running a paper MC version or spigot version of Minecraft. Once you're sure that you're either on paper or spigot, you can go ahead and click on FTP file access on the left hand side of the screen. And then log in with your information. And once you're logged in, go ahead and find the plugins folder. In the plugins folder, go ahead and click on upload in the top left. Then you can open up the folder where you downloaded your four files to and click and drag each file to the right hand side of the page. Then wait for each file to reach 100% uploaded and then wait for it to say four out of four files uploaded at the bottom of the page. Then click on the name of your server at the top and either click on start or restart to get your server back up and running. Before you can do anything with this plugin, you're gonna to need to make your first NPC on your server. You can do this with the citizens plugin by running the command slash NPC space create space and then name your NPC. So we're gonna go ahead and name this one Doug space dash dash type space cat on the guide there's a more in-depth version of how to use these commands if you're not sure on how to use them after this video guide the first link is always going to be the written description which will ha also have pictures on how to use these commands once you've made your first npc you can use the command npc to make it run commands this can be done with slash npc space cmd add or slash npc space cmd add for example if we wanted doug to run the slash give command to give the player one fish we would use the slash npc space cmd add space negative o space give space percent name space salmon space one and this, when we right click on Doug, is going to give us one piece of salmon. The dash O in the example that we just went over tells the server to run the command as though Doug was an opt player. The percent name is a placeholder used by placeholder API to tell the plugin to target the player clicking on the NPC. There are several arguments such as these that can help you customize your commands. And we're going to go over just a few of them right now. There's slash NPC space CMD ADD, which we just went over, but this adds a command to the selected user. And then there's slash NPC space CMD 
info space and then the number of the ID. This displays information about a command added to an NPC with the given ID. So if we type slash NPC space CMD info space two, this is gonna give us the info about whatever has the ID two. And then slash NPC space CMD reset is gonna remove all of the commands added to an NPC. Creating an NPC can be a little complicated due to the sheer number of variables or commands that you just have to use. Command NPC removes a lot of the headache to make it easier to make new NPCs and add commands to them. NPC commands are a great way to add more depth to your server that can be found in a regular survival multiplayer server or SMP. With the help of this guide, you're gonna add commands to these NPCs with relative ease and in the written guide, which is the first link in the description, there are more links to different guides that have different commands that you can use on various NPCs. Well, folks, that's all we've got for you today. As always, we hope you enjoyed this tutorial and we hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.